This video will cover the subject of how to process PicoSpin JCAMP data using the ACD Lab NMR processing software. The first thing we need to do is have a set of data to work with. So I've navigated to the files page on my instrument and you can see there's a selection of files which we can work with. I'm going to select the propyl acetate file down here in the lower left corner. By clicking it, I'll gain access to the data. What I'm going to do is select Download All Data, and this will create a tar file that has the JCAMP data, the .jdx file contained within. I'm going to right-click the Downloads window that popped up. I'm going to select Open Containing Folder, and it'll automatically open into the Downloads folder where the file was downloaded. I use WinRare to extract my tar file data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to say extract to and the name of the file and this will create a directory by the exact same name. I'm going to double click and you can see we have an FID-AVG file and this is a JDX or a JCAMP DX data file. If you haven't already associated this file with ACD Lab or the Mester Lab MNOVA software, what you can do is right click this and you should have a selection of programs with which to open this file. As you can see, I have the ACD 1D NMR processing program selected right here and I'm going to click that. The ACD program opens up and we can see right away that we have a FID or free induction decay time series plot that's displayed. What we need to do next is process the data. So what we should do first is zero fill the data. We can zero fill to either 16 or 32,000 points and I'm going to select OK. The next thing we want to do is apply some windowing function. In this case, we'll apply an exponential. We can set this to values that we desire. In this case, I'm going to select 0.8. And then we need to do the Fourier transform. Typically, we would select the Fourier transform button here or the interactive Fourier transform button over here on the operation toolbar. However, in this case, uh, with JCAMP data, we want to choose the Fourier transform options from the process menu up at the top. We navigate down to Fourier transform and we choose complex transform instead of the default transform. The next thing we need to do is we need to reverse the spectrum. We will come up back to the process menu and choose reverse spectrum. We can now zoom in and take a look at our transformed data. What we should do next is apply a baseline correction and I'm just going to use the uh, auto detect baseline and I'm going to check OK to accept the changes. We also want to reference the signal. I'm going to select the reference button from the operation toolbar and I'm going to come over here and select this peak. I happen to have placed TMS into the sample and so I know that this peak here it belongs to TMS and that should be our zero part per million signal. I'm going to select it and a new window comes up that says solvent shifts in this lower right hand corner. I'm going to type in zero and I'm going to say OK. You can see uh, all the signals shifted based on that uh, selection and I'm going to choose accept changes in the upper left hand corner. And one last thing we want to do is we want to phase correct our data. And we can do that by clicking the phase correction button up here on the operation toolbar. And a window pops up. We can manually type in values into the zeroth and first order phase parameter fields or we can choose the mouse phasing option up at the operation toolbar. If we do that we can click the left mouse button and get the zeroth order uh, phase correction applied in a dynamic fashion. If we release the left mouse button and then click the right mouse button we can affect both the first and zeroth order phases. And we will just phase correct this till we're happy with uh, the way the spectrum looks. And then of course to accept the changes we just made we need to click the checkbox over here in the upper left hand corner to accept these changes. And that's how you process PicoSpin JCAMP data using the AACD NMR processing software.